All right, so we've got the C3500 here. Today, we're gonna take the bed off, um, put it on there. What we're gonna do is, like you've seen in the other videos, we're gonna take that 2005 F2, F350 frame, uh, put a dual axle in it. We're gonna put the dually bed, everything on there, put this cab. This truck got painted right before I bought it. So we're gonna use it and we're gonna change the front clip to make it match the blazer. And then once we get all the body mounts, everything fabricated, we're going to get a Dodge Cummins 12 valve, um, hopefully like a 93 and up. So it'll have the P-pump and be intercooled and everything like that. Uh, we'll turn it up a little bit, probably make about 400 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. And once we do that, we'll get it all together and then we'll just be daily driving it just like it was a brand new F-350 or F-3500 or right off the lot. Today, we got the frame back from getting shortened. We had it shortened to 164 and a half. You see right in here, they um, came in, they cut a play on CNC machine, stamped it out. What they did is they actually took a diamond, and so if the diamond's like this, they actually turned it like this, so the flat part is touching the top of the frame and the bottom of the frame, basically pushing them against each other. And they cut it in what they call a Z, so that way it said it's a little bit stronger than just doing a straight cut. They welded all that in, welded the diamond plate in here in the C channel, and then put the little bit nicer plate on the inside. So once we get this all fabbed up and painted, you won't even know that it got cut. Plus you have a cool looking little plate right there. It makes it look a little bit sportier. Um, also, when they were doing the, when they shortened it, they found a little diamond in the frame. So what that means is basically the frame and the mounts, everything were staggered. So they're able to get that out too. So that was a benefit to rather than just find a one that was the exact match and dropping her all there. Still having it walk down the road, crab it like a, like a crab. So what we've done is we've taken the chain hoist and turned it loose from the C30, turned the bed loose from the C30, picked it up with the chain hoist here. I left the frame and everything on the trailer because it's a lot easier to move it around than trying to push it with the tractor, push it with hands and steer the wheels and the axles and everything. So we have the bed here hung up. We're going to get this chain out of the way here in just a second um, and get everything set down on there and take some measurements. We'll make a couple little tabs. This, the bed bolts on a square body are 31 inches apart as far as frame width to the center of the frame. The fours are 35, so rather than drill new holes in the bed, 
We're just going to take some of this flat stock right over here. Make a few tabs, weld it into the frame, and then drill straight through the, where the bed holes are to the frame so that everything will bolt right back up. It'll be a lot cleaner and make the bed look like it's still on the Chevrolet frame. Um, so that's where we're at right now. We'll get this sort of set, kind of touch back, take a couple preliminary measurements, measure it a couple times, cut a few mounts, start burning them in there. Um, then we'll be ready to move on to doing the cap. shifting a whole bunch of stuff around. We've got the bed on here now, we got it squared up, lined up. Um, I sit on here perfect, we're still gonna have space to put the gooseneck hitch in later on. We got the cab um, just about right this size a little bit. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of massaging with the hammer. Um, but we got this side lined up. The front clip, we're gonna have to come through here and cut these little tabs 
off right here and then we'll get the front clip sitting level. Um, we'll have to make a cross beam for it. Right through here, we're gonna have to shift the mounts back a little bit to get everything lined up. We're gonna go with um, the SMB filter mounts instead of these Ford ones that are all crumbly. Um, they actually end up being a little bit cheaper than the Ford mounts. And then back here, we cleared the shaft and everything just fine. Um, come right back here, I'll show you how we're going to make this bench fit because it's a little bit more narrow than the Ford frame. So the Ford frame is right here where the Chevrolet frame was right here. So this is 35 center, the bolt hole to center the bolt hole. The Chevrolet is 31 inches. So we're just going to come in here with some cardboard, make a little template, cut it out, drill it. We'll weld it in. We'll drill it from the top side so it's straight. And then we'll just get some carriage bolts and bolt it down. We'll do the same on the other side and then we'll just work our way all the way forward so we have all eight of the bolts in. And then after that, we'll move on to the cab mounts, burn all the, cut all those off, burn all them in, and then we'll be pretty much home free. And then we'll just have to find a motor and put a transmission in it, uh, motor, wire it all up and everything, and then we'll be ready to hit the road.